What's up, everybody? It's Meech. You're tuned into On The Radar, where we cover health, fitness, and tech. So a few months ago in the video, I was telling you guys that there's no real organic black seed oil. I'm going to try to explain it to you the way it was explained to me as simple as possible. Let's get into it. The Nigella sativa plant is where you get your seeds that are used to produce the black seed oil. Each flower only produces about two grams of seeds, so you need a huge amount of field space to grow enough plants in order to produce mass amounts of seeds. To grow organically, obviously we know that um, pesticides can't be used, but pesticides are used for the farmers to prevent the bugs and the animals from destroying the crops and also obviously you have the weather conditions that come into play also it destroys a lot of the crops we know from our end the the pesticides and you know why we don't want them and what it does to our health but the fact is it's on a lot of stuff that we eat and we don't really think about it most of the time a lot of us try to go for organic stuff but even a lot of that organic stuff sometimes we don't really know that it's really organic whole other story the farmers though getting back to that say that they only get 25 to 50 percent of seed harvest in a good season growing organic nigella sativa plants and there's always the possibility that they're going to get even lower than 50 percent so they're not willing to take that risk because if they lose money um it's just not worth it for them if they get a low return on their harvest then they have to charge more for the seeds to break even or make a profit and most companies that are looking to buy these seeds they're not trying to pay that they're not going to want to pay more for for less it's just not good business um the farmers could grow organically in a greenhouse but the greenhouses are small they're not as big as the field so they're going to get a small batch of seeds compared to if they was planting in the fields now if you're only getting two grams of seeds per plant then it wouldn't be profitable for them to plant the stuff in the greenhouse when they could plant stuff that's gonna um you know grow more in abundance and be more profitable for the time and the space needed so the farmers only make their income at harvest time so obviously they're just trying to maximize their profits so they can survive from our perspective that we're, you know, we're like, well, that's not my problem, but the reality it is because the farmers need to thrive financially in order to survive. You can't meet the demand of your consumers if you're losing your crops to nature, bugs, animals, all that stuff. So they use the pesticides to keep them away. Sucks, but it is what it is. So think about this though, an organic orange tree, for instance, will give you 200 pounds or around 200 pounds of oranges in just five square uh, feet of space compared to you would need like a thousand square feet of space to get 200 pounds of seeds so if you're a farmer which one are you going to go with how do you how do they get away with saying that it's organic hmm. well um most people who are buying the seeds don't really look deeply or understand the entire process so they just go by what they're being told think about it on the business level right it's easier for a company to not care or properly investigate because they're gonna have to pay more and receive less quantity. If they were to dig deep and find out, you know, find the real organic seeds, they're not gonna find as much as they're looking for. So they're thinking about profit and that's just what they're doing. Profit, profit, profit. It's, it's just, it, it, hurt. it sucks for us, but it's, it's, it's the way of the world. It's, it's the way of business. They pretty much ask for organic and they don't question the backstory of these seeds you just they just take it at face value that you know this is what they ask for i want organic if it says organic or if there's they're being told that it's organic hey give me it who's gonna really dig deep also if a company doesn't have any real knowledge of how the system works then they're probably not even going to think to question the process take me for instance if i was starting a black seed oil company or brand of my own i'm gonna go just look for organic black seed oil or i mean black seeds right I'm not going to know that. I'm not going to know the whole process behind it. I'm just going to say, all right, give me organic seeds. They give me the seeds. I'm, I'm on my way. Um, unless I'm dealing with the, the, the farmers. But even still, if, if you're not dealing, if at the end of the day, if you don't know the, the, um, 
the, the whole process, which a lot of these companies don't, they're just ordering stuff. They don't know the whole growing process and all, they're not gonna ask those questions and they're not gonna really care. Most of the time, if you see a USDA organic sticker or certification, are you really gonna question it? Are you really gonna dig deep, show me your process, take me to your, to your farm, show me? No, you're just gonna be like, this is what it says, this is what I need, give me that. They're not really gonna dig deep into it. Most people don't with anything. Also, if a company doesn't know, they let's say they do know it's, it's not organic, it's still in their best interest at the end of the day to say that it is and try to get away with it due to lack of customer knowledge. Most of us don't know. We're gonna just read what it says on the label. It, the whole cycle just repeats. We don't know, we're not digging. We just take these things at face value. And we also say, you know, well, the label wouldn't be on there or they wouldn't be saying it if it's not true because, you know, the government's going to investigate it. But nah, that don't really happen most of the time. There's oversight. There's just they haven't gotten to it. There's the people are paying under the table. It's just all time. Oh, come on. We know this stuff happens. Um, I've heard of a lot of companies, honestly, that pay for their, their certifications under the table and, you know, it happens. It is what it is. It happens every day, whether you're getting, um, you know, a, a, a registration sticker or fake documents. This stuff happens every day. Do, I, do you really think that these these um, some of these black seed oil companies are not doing it? Now, mind you, I'm not saying who does and I know who does not who doesn't. But I'm just saying in the world that we live in, it happens and we know that. Think about how many times we've been told something is organic only to find out that it's not. I've just recently um, read something about Whole Foods coming under fire because not all of the stuff that they claim is organic really is. The truth is the USDA is not as strict as we think they are with their regulations or their standards. And in fact, they've allowed many um, producers in the past the ability to self-certify themselves. So that's way too much for me to get into right now. That's not really the whole thing. The point is it happens and realistically we know it happens every day. So. This is no real organic seeds, people. Sorry to burst your bubble. Sorry, it's just not. There's no real organic um, seeds. There's no real organic black seed oil. Now, how much, if any, is actually out there, we'll never really know because a lot of these companies also mix their seeds from different regions, from different you know places. We're not even getting what we think what we should be getting. These, these companies really don't care. I've heard this from, from, um, from, from different sources from people who used to work with companies, from, from this stuff happens. They don't care. So if, if you're getting your seeds from Turkey or India or, 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 or Ethiopia or whatever they're getting their seeds from, sometimes there's a shortage. Sometimes that, you know, people are going for the, for the, um, for the lowest prices. They just get whatever they, they can get it from. And when it's time to mix, do you really think they're gonna say, all right, well, I got a small batch of this here, a big batch of this here, so I can only produce? No, they're just gonna say, yo, they're all seeds. They're all black seeds. I'm gonna just put them all, juice them down, and give it to you. They not gonna know. Now ask yourself, right? Um, have you ever seen any of these companies speak on any of this or, or show the, the, the truth about where they're getting their stuff from, no. They're just telling you this is what it is. No companies are really giving you all this back information. There's only one company that has that I've dealt with that has ever given me any of this information and insight. I'm not gonna tell you who that company is. Some of you probably know, some of you don't. I'm not gonna say it because then people are just gonna say, oh, well, you're just trying to sell me a product and this is why, you know, this... Th we'll talk about it if you wanna know, hit me up. We'll talk about it, but no other company is saying these things and, 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 and has been putting this stuff out there. If you don't believe what I'm saying, reach out to your to your company, so whatever brand that you use, and see what they say. See if they provide you with this information. See if they put it out there on their website. See if they put out, and not just saying that, yes, our stuff is what we say it is. See if they actually prove it. See if they actually even want to talk about it. So if, 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 if they're not being transparent, then it's making you wonder. And if you have questions, you should go to them and ask and get that clarification. And if they're not willing to give you that clarification, realistically it means that they're deceiving you. They're hiding something and they don't want to talk about it. At the end of the day, there's no real organic black seed. Oil. So that's pretty much it. Let's further this conversation in the comment section. All relevant links will be in the description as far as what black seed oil I recommend and the video to why I recommend it. 
Till next time, stay focused, stay fit. Please hit that like button, show your support. Definitely hit that notification bell so you can be alerted the next time something else pops up on my radar. Salute.